Okay, so this video here is to go through what's called the runs test. We're going to go through the runs test on this data, okay? And what we're testing for, if you will, um, are um, is randomness in the data. And actually, sorry, what we're going to do first, um, well, no, we'll do the runs test on this data. We're going to see that it's going to, I'm going to spoil the surprise, fail the runs test. Okay. So I'm going to do a runs test for randomness. What I'm doing is I'm checking to see, I'm going to highlight the closing prices here. And what I'm doing is I'm checking to see whether these closing prices um, are just random noise or if there's some sort of pattern to them. Uh, what you want to do, do the runs test about the mean of the series. So that's the default. Click OK through that. Uh, let's just put the data to the right of the worksheet. And there are our results. Um, so there's an output here. Okay, it has lots of writing. Uh, if this value is under 0 0.05, uh, we can conclude the data, or in this case, the closing prices are not random. And that is the runs test. Just a couple mentions here. Uh, this is your actual number of runs. This is your expected number of runs. So the actual is way less than expected. Uh, we expect 39 runs, we get six. Uh, and let's actually see what that means. I'm just going to, you don't have to do this part, but just to show you, uh, charts and um, let's do a time series plot on this guy. Click okay, do it on the closing values. Uh, there's a date variable. Okay, let's take a quick look here. So here are the closing values. Uh, what we're testing for are, are these values um, random noise or not? Uh, what we can also do is put in a um, trend line just to see here. Okay, I want to put one right through the middle to show you what the heck the runs are. Okay, add trend line. Sorry. So there's one run here, 
then the second run is here. Uh, third just dips down. Fourth is here, then fifth is here, and sixth is here, sorry. So it just barely crosses the average right here. If you can see where that arrow is. So that makes uh, actually another two runs then. Uh, so going back, we have actually six runs. Uh, and what we see here, new run, yes or no, is zero or one. So one is yes, zero is no. So we don't, we have a new run at the start. And then our next new run is all the way down here, not until April of 1997. And then the next new run starts at the next one, which is right here. Oh, and there's another new run, and then so on and so forth. So that's all the output from the runs test. Really what you need to understand though, pretty much just be able to do the test and then look at this p-value and say whether the data is random or not. Okay, and that is the runs test.